someone who is a very dear friend of mine, um, who I actually met not in business. I met through a, um, um, I go to these spiritual services uh, at a place called the Self-Realization Fellowship, which uh, basically promotes the concept that the God spark is in all of us and all you need to do to look to find that spiritual place is within yourself through meditation. And Kathleen is, goes there and I go there and um, that's how we met. And, and then I think we somehow met at a coffee shop and then we talked about business and then we got involved in business circles. So let me introduce, introduce Kathleen Gramsci to everyone. Um, Kathleen, uh, she'll tell her story. She started, uh, and you can correct me later on, Kathleen, um, you know, in um, wellness, um, mostly, I think at least initially in her life through uh, massage, but she evolved into so much more. Um, into um, real overall different modalities and different forms of wellness, became a, a wellness consultant to many businesses of some sizable companies where she was helping them with their wellness programs. Um, she's had a, a private practice on her own. But, the, but besides that, Kathleen as a person is dynamic, has that quality that I always talk about, that I'm very drawn to people, that gas, that give a shit that you can't teach in school, that you can't take a course in it, you can't read a book on it. This woman is loaded with it. Um, she is so driven in her own personal life and to help everyone in her life. And um, so, what I wanted to do was I wanted to spotlight Kathleen um, as a Secret Sauce Society uh, business member, also my friend. And um, I'm gonna start off, Kathleen, by asking you um, a question that I know you'll know the answer to, but nobody probably ever asks you this question, and that is, but I, ask, I start out by asking this question to everyone. Kathleen, what do you really, really, really give a shit about? Big question. <laughs> what I really, really, really you can't reach shit through about. there and slap me, you know. You can't. I know, no, it's good. It's totally good. Um, what I really give a shit about is people understanding themselves and how their own consciousness has the biggest impact on their life. That's what I really give a shit about. I give a shit about people being empowered, be able to tap into innate strength, the innate intelligence, the innate wisdom that is built into us. And most people never learned how or learned about it. So that's my mission in the world is really teaching people what this amazing vehicle that they're living in really has and what, you know, that we are that consciousness that has a body and has a mind and has a heart, but we're not them, which gives us the power to really be our best selves. And then from that place, we get to interact with each other. From that place, we get to make a difference. From that place, we get to live healthier lives. We get to live more joyful lives. That's what I really think. And of course, you know, enjoying life because of that so much more. So that's so, what I give a shit. About. So that's a much I love what you give a shit about because I give a shit about the same thing. Um, and um, yeah, a lot of people, Kathleen, don't have that consciousness as you talked about. They recognize it. They aspire to it. Um, yours is obviously a much more holistic um, level of consciousness, a holistic level of um, service to people, to companies, to individuals, um, where it's all encompassing. It's not 
just go to the gym or just get a massage or just do Pilates or just eat right. It's all encompassing. Um, I, I know that about you just as a story for an aside and Kathleen knows I tell this all the time, but I've got to tell my audience. So <laughs> Kathleen and I had coffee. Tell it right. Uh, I, I'll tell it right. <laughs> I'll screw it up. No, I won't tell it right. She'll correct me. So we're having coffee because we're friends and we wanted to catch up. And I told her, I said, you know, Kathleen, I have this 20 pounds. I just can't lose. I just, I don't know. I've hit the wall. And she looked at me and said, do you have five minutes a day? And I'm like, who doesn't have five minutes a day? If you, if you, if I said no to that, shame on me. Right. So I'm like, yeah, I have five minutes a day. So she looked at me and said, well, you should be planking. If you can just plank five minutes a day, she said, I promise you, you are going to feel so much better. You won't believe it, but you got to do it for 90 days. I said, wait a minute, 90 consecutive days? And that she was said, an invitation to do it for 90 days. I knew days. she was going to correct that, me. That's the part it always gets <laughs> Right? So she said, well, if you want to do it, I can be your accountability partner if you'd like. And, um, and do it. So I looked at her and I said, let's do it. So for 90 days, 90 days, sure. I planked. Yeah. It took me about two weeks, a little less than two weeks to get up to five minutes. Which and then I did five minutes a day with a couple of days here or there where I couldn't hit it. Um, it was just, you know, try doing it 56 year old, 56 year, uh, years old every single day without rest. Anyway, Kathleen just did that just because of who she is. She just gives a shit. She just wanted to make it a difference in my life. And she did. And she's made a difference in my life in many, in many other ways. And the reason why I have her on today is because I want her to make a difference in your life because she has in mine. So tell me, Kathleen, how are you doing that today? Given with everything that's going on in this crazy world right now, and everybody panicking and la, 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 la. How are you now making a difference in people's lives? Well, it's interesting because I'm still, I'm doing the same thing that I have been doing. I am now just opening it up to help more people because basically what I've done is, you know, my background prior to having been a massage therapist and educator and coming back into the business world, was I was actually project, I did project management, I was in early development for a long time, and then I was in ops, and ran an international business doing operations. So my thing is all about efficiency, like how can we get the best results in this time, which is why I love planking. So, that's right, <laughs> you did it. Um, so basically what I've been doing um, when I saw in 2015, when I saw the opioid addiction epidemic getting so bad, um, I knew that I had to, I had already created uh, a method of self-care called, that I call Kinesage, which is a series of movements that uses the nervous system to systematically release chronic muscular pain and tension that's behind or underneath things like sciatica, carpal tunnel, tendinitis, all these soft tissue issues that people have that we've been taught, go see, you know, you have to see somebody or you got to take it. So my thing was like, no, actually it's built in. You just need to know how to do it. So I figured it out, made it into a method massage called Kinesage Massage to Movement. And then I taught both of those systems to occupational, uh, physical and massage therapists. Um, and then in 2015, when I started the opioid addiction epidemic getting so bad, I was like, okay, this now needs to be for everybody. And I had no idea how to do that because uh, I'm a kinesthetic educator, you know, project person, not technology girl. And I became one. So I ended up literally writing a book, Release Your Pain, Expand Your Life. And then that book explains, I took 20 years of running and teaching anatomy and kinesiology, and I put it into a 120 page ebook because I wanted everybody to get a quick understanding of how this thing works. So you is can there still, a, do you still have that ebook? That ebook is part of my system because it's a thing. It's the book that explains how it works. So yes, it's still available. And it's here with the six segments of videos of the movements that I proved with thousands of people. And those movements, when you do them, it's like dominoes for your body. 
So basically you do the movements and it clears out those tension patterns that underlie the cause of, you know, all those things that we were talking about. So which, back by the way, uh, might I interject, which by the way, she did this for, as part of wellness um, objectives inside of pretty sizable companies. So this isn't just, you know, out there stuff, folks. I mean, companies with names were hiring her to come in and, and, and do this with them. So keep going. Right. Thank you. So, well, so that's what I did. So I went in because, because I thought we were connected to most people. That's what brought me back into corporate after being in the large world for all that time. And 74% of the reason why people miss work is muscular skeletal. And out of that $800 billion problem, $500 billion is soft tissue. So it's not- Say that again, because you broke up. Say that again. Um, $520 billion out of $820 billion, $872 billion is soft tissue, meaning that it's not arthritis, it's not a nerve you know, condition, it's actually these patterns that people can clear out. So that got me back into corporate in the first place. And so I worked with companies, and what was interesting when I got back, because my, my training therapist is, you know, you, you, people come in and they say, it hurts. Therapists know that might not be where the source of the problem is, right? You look for root causes. So when I got back into corporate, what I saw was everybody was overstressed. And so everybody's overstressed. It's like, okay, there's a bigger problem here because everybody's so overstressed. Everybody's living in anxiety and frustration and overwhelm, which keeps them from even seeing these other problems. And the problem is it's so, it is pandemic, right? Chronic stress already was pandemic before the pandemic. And so people don't recognize, like they just think they're operating normally and everything's functioning fine. So that's when I created this other program called Mindful Resilience which is another program that uses your nervous system and movement that actually switches you out of frustration, anxiety, and overwhelm to the other side of the nervous system where we're meant to live. That's our emergency system. We're not supposed to live there. We're just supposed to, we get, we get triggered by challenging things, right? Stuff hits us. And that's meant to give us, you know, the juice to be able to, you know, work with that. We're not supposed to live there. We're supposed to be able to get back to the restorative side, which is where our critical thinking brain works, which is where our immune system works, and that's where we're socially engaged. So what, what's happened, so that was, that's just what I've been doing with companies, and I've gone in, I mainly work with like the, um, I call it the sandwich, so it's senior, v, senior managers through frontline managers, because as, as far as culture goes, whatever those people are being, that's the culture. So when you help that level, and they now can get a handle on themselves in a moment so they can now listen to who they're supervising, they can relate better, their immune system is functioning better, their brain is able to make better decisions. So that's how I've been doing it. And then when I saw the, you know, when the pandemic hit, of course, now the entire world is getting triggered by that. Literally. <laughs> Before we get to that. Yeah. So did you measure any of the impact you were having inside of companies by or was there a way to measure? Because now people were showing up. They weren't calling in sick as much. They were being more at their optimal self. Was there any metric you, ever, you came up with for the impact you were providing your, these companies you were working with? That's a great question. So on the, on the uh, can I start self-care side, we had the program in place long enough to be able to do that. So we would do 30-day challenges and we could see, we could see differences today and then going forward in a physical way with when you're talking about something that's less tangible um it's more it's uh more just anecdotal right so i have surveys so we have surveys people saying okay it's really made a difference in i can i sleep better i um i don't lose my you know cool so much so it's not um i'm working with a company and we've we've gone through last year we went through working with all of their directors so when we're going through the teams, right, it's working for all the directors first, now the supervisors. So they have, um, we were, haven't, we were actually just scheduled to, um, to start on this, this second layer where you're doing it on a consistent, where we're actually able to measure it. But we haven't been able to actually, you know, like have a metric of like on a piece of paper. Like before you showed paper. up and then once you were doing your program after a couple of months, what the rate of participation was in the company in terms of 
sick days or whatever. I wonder if you've right. ever figured that out. Well, actually, that's, that's of course my goal. One of my goals because I am about efficiency and being able to measure stuff. Um, it as it happens, this um, major company that I'm working with, they are, you know, so most most companies are show me the dollars, like show me the ROI in a tangible form. It, as it happens, this amazing company I'm working with, they are so supported doing these health, culture, and wellness. They don't actually, it's not important. If they don't, if they don't have to measure it. If they get it. And they're doing it. So for this year, when we do it, we are going to measure it. But their their thing was like, look, all my, our directors are functioning better. Now we want you to do all our supervisors. And oh, once it. you have it, there's no question so in my mind. Like, yeah. So question I don't, you know, is, it's, it's, it's the question like, is, our audience doesn't have it. Okay, our right. audience doesn't have it. So that's why I I asked the question. So the answer is, you don't really have the metrics yet. You know it's working. You know your clients. Once you have them, love it but you don't have the metrics yet, but right. that's something that would be good to know. So let me ask you, because I make these pretty short, what are you doing right now? So like, right now, yeah, yeah, right now, the, so I'm still working with companies and I really, um, what I'm seeing is, you know, and when you look at our community, I mean, everybody's community, hit, obviously. but when I, of course, as a small owner, I have affinity for all my small business community, partners and you know friends who are going you know trying to get their trying to get a grip so what I'm doing is in addition to working with organizations I am doing um, I've moved my stuff so it's virtual so I'm doing virtual virtual workshops and basically one of the things that I wanted to do to help give back and you know to, to support my business and give back and a lot of people to help other people is that I'm doing um, uh, the next the, going forward, I'm going to do, I started, did, I did the other one and we did, I did some scholarships. This way, what I'm going to do going forward is, is for anybody who signs up and registers in their registration, they now just got an opportunity to pay it forward free to someone else that they know that maybe they, you know, maybe they don't have $97 to be able to do this. And then, um, and then if other people, maybe they have a few employees or, you know, a few people that they want to include, they can, uh, they want to pay it forward some more, then it's at a more reduced price for those other people. So let, so me, play, the, let me play back some sure. of what you said. So you're running online workshops yes. for people on wellness, yes. on what you teach. specifically how to switch your nervous system so you can get a handle on your Totally get it. Yeah. Right. And you're running these workshops online in group yeah. sessions, and you're charging $97 with this pay it forward um, uh, concept. So yeah. if somebody's interested in getting their, their immune system because of what's going on to a better level, obviously, because that's really what matters here, how do they, how, what do they do? How do they contact you? How do they find out about it? They can contact me at my uh, email kg at kathleengramsey.com which is k-a-t-h-l-e-e-n-g-r-a-m-z-a-y uh, for our community they can call me 602-617-9737 say it and again have, because your internet connection is not great say your your phone number again 602-617-9737 so you don't, you, but you don't have a, a a web splash page for this. So they have well, to. Well, so, so you actually know? on my web on my website, my website is kathleengramsey.com. I will have the latest, and I also have it on. I'll have it on LinkedIn and then also on Facebook. So okay, so be- folks, what she said was Kathleen Gramsey, the name Kathleen, K A T H L E E N. Her last name is spelled Gramsey, G R A M Z A Y, um, and. Uh, go to her website. It's her name, um, KathleenGramsey.com. You can you can register there. You can contact her an email, which she gave you that, or a phone. Um, now's a time when it's good to take care of one. I said there's three things we have to do now. Three, all of us, given what's going on. One is take care of yourself, which is what I have Kathleen here for. The other is take care of your family, your friends, and the people that work for you when you work with. And then three, once we've got the other two down, is take care of your community. 
So if you go through the program and you like it and you see what it's done for you, she's got this pay it forward concept. So um, uh, Kathleen, I know we packed a lot into 20 minutes, but- I um, Can I add one thing real quick? Yes. Here's the thing, when they, when they register and they get these techniques, then they can teach their kids. Then they can teach their, whoever is living in their home, they can teach. So that's the way is paying it forward is, is that you learn it and you can share it with your family. So you don't just give a man a fish, you teach them how to fish. That's my deal. <laughs> Fantastic. So we're having fish tonight. That's so, right. Good for everybody. <laughs> Kathleen, you're the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. This will be published in our online community, in our Slack channel, on our YouTube. Um, it will be also pushed out to all social media networks. You can have the link for yourself, folks. I have personal experience with this woman. Uh, she's made an impact in my life. Now's the time, number one, take care of yourselves. If you're not doing something different to take care of yourselves, especially now, then shame on you. Here's somebody who can help you do it. Kathleen, you're the best. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I, I appreciate you and I'm grateful for having you in my life. Thank so you. have a wonderful day, stay healthy. and. You I know we'll always be talking. That's right. Take care. Bye-bye.